All right, uh, let's have a little fun creating an abstract uh, composition in Photoshop without any scanned image to start with or any photographic image. So what I've got here is a blank 8 by 10 white canvas. And um, I'm going to be working with my uh, selection tools and also my paint brushes and possibly a pencil. And I'm also going to be doing some filling. Um, and of course, I want to have my swatches uh, available to me as well. So let's start off by just having a little fun. I'm going to create uh, a couple little geometric shapes here. And I can just go up. Once I create a geometric shape, I can go up to uh, Edit Fill. And I can fill that with, uh, change the opacity. I can fill that with a pattern. I can fill that with a background color. My foreground color is a bluish, so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to do that at 80 opacity. OK. Now, again, uh, the sky is the limit here. I want you to have fun. I want you to explore and experiment. And don't really. Um, overly be critical of yourself. Just just have fun with this. Uh, there's so many things you can do with this, working with filters, uh, working with shapes, working with color. And of course, um, uh, I love that liquify filter because you can really have a lot of fun with that. Uh, let me go ahead and make another shape. Uh, let me take my elliptical marquee tool and let me create a little shape there and let me get a different color. I'm going to get like a like a yellowish color and I'm going to go edit fill and let's fill that um, with the uh, foreground color yellow all right and let me go ahead now well, I'm going to make one more shape before I uh, move on to the next thing uh, I'm going to go my rectangle again and I'm going to do something like that and edit fill and let's get, um, oh, I want to change my color. So let me go and get red. Yeah, something like really bright. All right, and we're going to go edit fill. And let's go 100. Nice and bright. All right, now I can take my magic wand and click the white area. And I'm going to fill that with, I'm going to fill that with black. Edit fill. I'm going to go to black. All right, that's kind of interesting. Now, um, what I'm going to do is deselect. And from here, I'm going to start playing with it. Again, I'm more concerned with an abstract composition working with color, the relationship of colors and shapes. And um, let's go ahead now. What I'd like to do is go to Filter and let's go to Liquify. Just going to play around with this a little bit. And again, I'm just having fun here. I'm just going to have a little bit of fun. You know, I can get lost in computer art. I can just have so much fun with it. I'm just going to do one more little thing like that. And then I'm going to hit OK. Ah, now it's, it's kind of kind of coming along. Now let's go ahead and go to Filter. And let's, let's get some artistic filters in there. And let's see what kind of things, whoa, uh, we can do. Fresco, dry brush. Everybody loves plastic wrap. Um, woo, that's kind of crazy. Angled stroke, cross hatch. Oh, I like splatter. Let's do some sprayed strokes and go OK. That's looking pretty cool. Now, watch what I can do now. I can go to image adjust and I'm going to posterize this. 
and I can posterize. I'm going to leave that really bright. Okay, bam. Now, I've got it posterized, and I can do other things with this as well. I can go in and adjust, and I can go to U, saturation. And with U, saturation, I can change. Look at that. I can get psychedelic on this thing. Whoa, let's really brighten that up. And I can play with different color combinations with my U saturation. That's kind of fun. I'm going to leave that and really make it bright. Really make it bright. Now, I'm just going to go in and get a, I got a white background. I'm going to get my pencil. And whenever I get the pencil, um, I'm just going to go in. Actually, I'm going to undo that because I wanted white. I'm going to change it. And I'm going to go in. Okay. And let's go bam, 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 bam. Again, I'm just playing. I don't like those last two. I'm going to undo that and step backward. I didn't like that one. And let's just kind of go ahead and get my get my pencil. I'm going to get my brush and go back to red. And of course, whenever you get your pencil or your brush, you have to change the brush size in relationship to what you're doing. Okay. Uh, too dark, too dark. So let me go and get a, let me get yellow. And that's, oh, I know why, because I've got a low opacity. Let me fire up that opacity. There we go. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. All right, so again, abstract composition. Now I'm going to tie it all together. Check out what happens when I go to image adjust and invert. Whoa, completely invert the image. I can undo that and I can go uh, back one more time to filters and I'm going to stylize that with Let's see what um, Extrude does. I love it! I love that! That is so cool. Extrude is really, really fun. You need to try Extrude. I'm going to stay with Extrude and going to change up and try a little bit of the solarization. No, I don't like Again, sometimes you don't like it. I'm really liking what's going on right now. And I'm going to start wrapping up and just kind of try, um, I'm going to try the uh, mosaic tiles. Oh, my goodness. I'm really liking what's going on here. Okay. I'm gonna, of course, I changed the tile size and hit OK. All right. So I'm going to save that, save that as abstract, as a JPEG and hit save. I normally for the blackboard save it as about a 10 and I'm going to post that to the blackboard as one of my abstract versions. Now if you want to make different versions uh, you can also just again immediately just take that and invert it by going image adjust invert and bam you've got a completely different then once you invert it you can go to image and stylize and solarize and you can do all kinds of fun stuff I mean the sky's the limit the sky's the limit what about um what about trace contours or glowing edges whoa now I'm really out of control I'm, I'm just completely out of control here so I better wrap it up and uh, post this video for all of you. So I hope you're having fun with this assignment. Uh, 
you know what no right or wrong just have fun play learn the software continue exploring Photoshop elements Photoshop GIMP whatever you're using and those of you that have stuck with the class so far you're doing great bye bye see you on the discussion board see you in the art gallery